There are two proteins found in wheat flour that are really important for making pastry, glutenin and gliadin. This is because when water is added to flour and these two proteins get hydrated, bonds form between them, aligning the proteins together and giving rise to a highly complex protein network called gluten that gives structure to the dough. The gliadin are small round globular proteins almost like small balls, and the glutenin are longer, thinner strands, almost like long chains. A specific type of bond called disulfide bridges can occur between parts of each protein, as they both contain an amino acid called cysteine that has sulfur in. These disulfide bridges bond the two proteins together in certain places, forming gluten, and they are very strong, giving the gluten high strength and making it very elastic. There are also forces called hydrogen bonds that hold the proteins together, again forming between specific parts of each protein. To make sure the proteins are as aligned as much as possible, the dough has to be moved and twisted after its ingredients are mixed. This is why dough is traditionally kneaded.